You're, you're so by the way. I would def get into that. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact and it's totally science. Uh, go ahead and look it up. Today, we are diving back into r slash nice guys. They are just so nice, but not really. <laughs> See, they start out as nice until you say that you don't want anything to do with them. And then they, they call you bad names. And that's uh, hilarious to me for some reason. So <laughs> we got a lot to get through today. I found some very beefy posts again, and hopefully it'll uh, go as well as the last one did. So let's go ahead, get some plugs and disclaimers out of the way, and then we will dive right into some of this r slash nice guys cringe. Hey, uh, thanks for letting me stay, Saturday. Um, thank my brother. I had nothing to do with that decision. Well, thanks anyway, ha ha ha. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is nice and awkward, all right. Uh, I get the feeling you don't want to talk to me. I'm really busy. That aside, I'm not really looking for any new friends right now. Oh, it's because of Red, right? What? <laughs> I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I know he was a real jerk to you, but if you dated a guy like me, you'd never have to worry about that. <laughs> uh, I take you at your word. I would treat you right, uh, and I would do anything for you. Not interested. <laughs> you don't think I'm a good dude? I don't even know you. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> so this dude, like, slept over at his friend's house, and he's, like, trying to creep on the sister is what I'm getting? Good God, catch a clue. <laughs> Give me a chance, and I'll prove I'm one of the good ones. <laughs> Look, I'm really not interested. It's been like four days since me and Red broke up. Jesus. <sighs> when you're ready, I'll be here. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you will. Ever waiting. And then when she never gives him a chance, he'll be like, I waited so long for this bitch. Uh, she strung me along. It's like, no. From the beginning, she told you she's not interested. This is your own delusion. Uh, please consider me. I never get considered. <laughs> but I promise, I'm a really good guy. When I saw you sleeping, I knew I could have touched you. Oh my god, like other guys would, but I did it because I'm a good dude, so please take me seriously. <laughs> oh god! Uh, that is deep cringe. That is a new kind of pain. <laughs> I didn't know we'd get both barrels out of the gate, and the girl's like, WTF? <laughs> huh? Vigorous, block, number, mashing, get away as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that that would even cross his mind is the biggest red flag I've ever seen. This dude legitimately wants some brownie points because he didn't molest a girl while she was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> is that what makes you a nice guy, or is that just something that that normal human beings would never do? Oh my god! I don't understand the thought process, and honestly, I hope that I never will. That is so terrifying. I'm glad you blocked him. I hope you you tell your brother and that he'll not be friends with this person anymore. Because having this dude sleeping over at your house, ooh, that's a recipe for disaster. Jeez. A nice guy Reddit post about a post on Reddit? Oh boy, that's made a... <laughs> How 
to tell men that you like to wait. I'm old again, but I'm trying to find someone that I really click with. I had a terrible habit of sleeping with essentially anyone I went on a date with, which stemmed from my own massive insecurities, but I'm finally getting my life back together post-COVID. <laughs> post-COVID. Yeah, that's gonna happen soon. Just <laughs> keep waiting. And I'm just, uh, I'm just done with it. I'm done feeling used and done letting myself be used. I got out of a relationship about eight to nine months ago now, and I want to take things slow with people and, you know, actually date, hang out with minimal alcohol involved, get to know each other and see if there's any chemistry there before anyone takes any of their clothes off. But it seems to be the assumption that we'll sleep together after a couple of dates. I'm unsure of how slash when to bring this up with men that I'm talking to. Any advice? Again, there's sort of the presumption of being a decent human being and waiting until both people are ready, but <laughs> that's just the way that I look at things. I'm sure that this neckbeard in the comments, or nice guy in the comments, I suppose, has uh, some choice advice for all of us. <laughs> Great that you decided you don't want sex with guys you meet in date contexts. Why would any man want that, though? <laughs> Oh boy. Granted, there are men that will wait forever for girls, e.g. the typical friend zone dude, or men that are like religious or want to wait until marriage, or maybe some other type of guy, but generally speaking though, any man that isn't desperate and that is attracted to you, at least in sex with you, <laughs> won't wait indefinitely. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that she's not talking about indefinite. It's just like, here is my boundary. I suppose this guy just presumes indefinitely because he is forced to wait indefinitely for reasons which have already been displayed. <laughs> and if you say you don't want to be used and feel bad if you don't get what you want, e.g. a relationship and that which you would label real chemistry, you have to expect that certain men, well, a lot of men actually, don't like being used either. You see, women often use men emotionally. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's just use each other. He's like doing some weird type of bartering, like, yeah, I used your body, but you used me emotionally. <laughs> so it's fine. Entertain me, text me, give me attention, take me on dates, be there for me, wait for me to be ready to actually give you something you want, like sex, which most hetero men want rather now than at some distant point. When exactly will that be? Well, I, I don't know. Listen, most women have trouble understanding that. But that is just an abysmal deal for men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one of these men. I legitimately don't understand where this guy's coming from at all. You just want to stick it inside anything that moves? Have some self-respect. <laughs> <laughs> there have been quite a few first dates where the woman's like, Hey, you want to come back to my house? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm, I, I'm actually not looking for that sort of thing that you're looking for. And they're like, what are you, gay? <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. If I wasn't gay before, you've now made me at least consider it. <laughs> it's not that I'm gay. It's that I like attractive women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't say any of those things. I just kind of nod and say, okay, yeah, you're the one that got shot down, so you're trying to preserve your ego, and that's fine. But the truth is, I don't know you a goddamn thing. Uh, anyways, continuing. Men, the ones that really want you and like you and, and feel in love, just as the ones that would with like a friends with benefits because you're fun and they wouldn't mind sex and friendship without those big emotions. And also those that just want sex a few times. They all usually show interest when they're sexually attracted. Uh, apart from a few real long-term platonic male friends that are not friends just because they hope for an opportune moment to screw that girl, hopefully, eventually. Yeah, you can tell he's speaking from experience at this point. 
all those guys, the reason they want to meet you is that they're sexually attracted. So basically, what you're saying is, how can I now in turn use men for my own benefit without giving them what they want? Or only at some point when I may be ready to give it to them. That which was the very reason they even wanted to meet me in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a bleak outlook. Do people really think like this? Like for a hookup? Okay, I understand it. But going on a date? Isn't a date usually so you can get to know the other person and see if you mesh? I don't know, man. This guy is all sorts of mixed up, but I suppose we've come to expect that. <laughs> Imagine that a guy said the following. I don't want to call or text or talk to you much. I've had bad experiences with that in the past. I want to now first feel satisfied and good and well with how sex is with you. <laughs> uh, if a guy said that, I would say, wow, your syntax is terrible and you should feel bad about trying to conversate with another human being. <laughs> Only then I might want to really talk and hang out with you at some point, but I can't tell you when that might be. Imagine that a guy said that to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you don't want to give guys you meet sex on principle, even when you feel attracted and just want to make them wait out of those weird reasons, <laughs> then you're playing them. <laughs> what? Uh, then you've become exactly that which you say you hated, being used. And the same applies here. If you want guys to be honest, then you go ahead and lead with a good example. Guys don't get ideas. I'm not just writing this to filter some of you out. This is as real as it gets. Mark my words. There won't be any sex in the first 20 dates, so don't even try. This will be platonic, apart from a bit of kissing maybe, after 10 dates. Tell them. Tell them that they are interested and that they won't get what they want. And, and you see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds to me like you'd just be weeding out a bunch of horny losers. I'm going to tell you this, man. If she bangs on the first date, you ain't the first one that she done that with. All right. <laughs> and if you're cool with that. All right. Cool. Go for it. But. Some people aren't out there just looking to mush their genitals together. They actually want to form like a human relationship with another person. And that's okay too. It's not this like mutual usage scenario that this guy has posed. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. And tell them again when you go on first and second dates. Just tell them don't even try. And you see who's left. And trust me, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, you of all people should know that the guys that remain are not the guys that you're excited about. This game of yours doesn't work. I've heard that from women so many times. If you don't want sex, then why date men? Uh, <laughs> if you don't want sex and immediately jumping into commitment and or marriage, uh, join a church group. Well, there is just a lot to unpack here, and I don't know if I'm uh, qualified to do so. <laughs> this guy seems to have a very negative perception of women in general. He's like, yeah, they all just, they all just use me emotionally. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm not surprised that that's your outlook because you're out there doing the exact same thing. The thing that you're projecting onto other people saying that they're doing to you. Oh, God. I just can't with this one. Why do sex and dating have to be like 100% linked all the time? Can't you go on a date and not bang a person? <laughs> I've been on plenty of dates and not tried to bang said person. It is possible. But I guess I'm just like not one of the guys that she would be excited about, right? <laughs> There's the rub. What an infallible way of defending your own weak argument. Yeah, if you don't want to bang around the first date, then, you know, you're probably not that attractive or something like that. No, how about just, like, having principles? Is that okay in the current year? <laughs> Can we still be old-fashioned, anybody? Doesn't matter to me if you said yes or no, because I know that I'm still going to.
and all the points that that dude just made have only driven me <laughs> closer to that old-fashionedness. Don't nobody want to be that guy. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, thinking about you. You have any twin sisters by chance? Shh. Excuse me? <laughs> Lol, never mind. I'm dumb. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I love that. She just kind of accepted that he's dumb. <laughs> Moving on. Well, I was just saying, I like the picture you posted, but I know you're with Mike. Again, never mind. I'm dumb. She doesn't even bother with the okay that time. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're a creep. Goodbye. I hope I'm not being totally inappropriate. Oh, I mean, kind of strange, but... There's nothing inappropriate about liking someone's pick. Yeah, but you being single would be ideal. I'm not gonna go further than that. <laughs> <laughs> You've said all that needs saying. At this point, blocked. <laughs> if it happens, I want to be the first to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good person, lol. Or I try to be anyway. So I'll leave that up to you. Yes, a good person would definitely try to snake somebody out of a relationship. That is the thing that the best person would do, for sure. <laughs> Just please don't be mad at me for it, smiley face. You're very pretty. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then she just kind of stops responding, as anybody would do. Block would be better, but yeah, ghosting is also okay in this scenario. <laughs> Thinking emoji. Uh, sticking tongue out emoji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna come back. Just keep spamming her with emojis. <laughs> Man, I'm not gonna lie. That makes me a little uncomfortable. I'm happily married, and you know Mike. It's cool if you think I'm pretty and like my pictures, but comments beyond that are not appropriate. <laughs> Sorry, I won't say another word. I was just being honest. <sighs> no need to apologize, man. I'm just being honest, too. So, would you come to South Carolina? <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you travel out of state for a creep on the internet? <laughs> uh, what? Never mind. I'm sorry, hun. Ugh, hun. I'm attracted to you, but I'm too dumb to make it work. You're, you're so hot, by the way. I would def get into that. <laughs> Uh, I won't say another word, but I would definitely get into that. <laughs> At least he knows he's dumb. A bit of self-deprecation, ain't nothing wrong with that, but it kind of falls through when, you know, it's factually accurate and everybody can see it. This guy is absolutely an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to get into that? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Did you get hacked or something? What? Are you high? Never mind, I guess. Don't be mean. <laughs> uh, oh, God, I don't even know where to start with this. Uncalled for, man. Completely random, out of nowhere, like, I am legitimately concerned for you. Why? Because I was attracted to you? I won't do that anymore. I apologize. Damn, I'm very sorry. No, the pervy comments, my dude, too far. Uncalled for, and makes me feel uncomfortable, like I said. And then block, right? You blocked him, right? God damn it, you better block him! 
<laughs> this is only going to continue, can't you see? Sounds to me like you need to let Mike know that his friend is a creeper and uh, either get him kicked out of the friend circle or get his ass kicked 100%. I have had this happen one time with my wife. Somebody Facebook creeping on her and sending weird messages. And you know what I did? I showed up to his fucking house. <laughs> and he basically started crying, begging me not to beat his ass. Which honestly is exactly what I wanted because I didn't want to have to kick his ass. But you got to put up the display at the very least. Wifey could have just blocked him, but she told me about it. Which to me means I want you to go do something about it. And I did, and guess what? She never heard from him again. So, Mike, <laughs> it's time to take a trip to South Carolina, my dude. <laughs> uh, don't be mean. How about don't creep on my wife? <laughs> it's so simple to be a good human being, but apparently not for these people. All right, here's a big old beefy boy. <laughs> Get buckled in and ready. Uh, wakey, wakey, <laughs> did you go to blank, <laughs> crying with laughing face? Ugh, she's not at her phone. <laughs> <laughs> not for you. Lol, I was working late yesterday, and when I got home, I crashed. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, poor you, puppy dog eyes. It's, you can stop pretending that you give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me what you want. Well, one of my co-workers were saying that she drives here to work from West Blank. <laughs> so far. <laughs> and her commute is less than an hour. WTF? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this information? Thank you for sharing. Uh, so warm today. <laughs> Uh, so you know you got nothing to talk about. Let's talk about the weather. That'll get her panties real wet. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, uh, what you doing? Nothing. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, I'm at the gym anyways. Not even home yet. I'm off on Friday. <laughs> you want to come over? <laughs> <laughs> She's not responding. He's just fucking monologuing. Ugh. I won't be off work until 11. I <laughs> might be able to do Friday. Ah, uh, poor you. <laughs> Oops, didn't know. And lol, it, it closes at 11? How's your day? <laughs> <laughs> this is another one of those dudes, similar to Resist Beard, who just has nothing to say. Talk about the weather, <laughs> ask you how's your day, and then what? The conversation just falls off completely. If you're really hoping to, to win somebody with your amazing personality, I think first you need to develop a personality. <laughs> uh, OP says, it's been a long day. And the store closes at 9, but I'm setting up new stuff. Uh, me too, as well, haha. -ha. Me too, as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got home not too long ago at 8. And, oh, I see we'll get some sleep then. <laughs> Jokey face. Yeah, so if you're off Friday as well, you can come over. Good night. What do you mean, come over? To my place, silly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, silly. <laughs> uh, I'm off work. Don't you live at home? Yeah, but no one's home during the day. That's why I said I'm off work, or I wouldn't have asked. <laughs> He's really trying to keep this whole hookup thing, like, <laughs> hidden from his parents. Oh, God, what a mess. Just be honest with your parents if you're really in that situation. Like, look, my significant other is coming over, okay? We need some privacy. And then, you know, you gotta fuck real quiet, but... 
<laughs> At least you ain't running around hiding stuff like a scared little boy. <sighs> OP says, well, I work until 8, lol. Oh, I thought you didn't work that day. Uh, why did you say you were able to do Friday if you work? Because I don't work that late. <laughs> 8 is late. <laughs> you used to get off at 5 before sometimes. When did you start? Now he's trying to deconstruct this whole thing. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Uh, just take the hint. OP says she starts at 11. 11 to 8? <gasps> That's a bummer. Guess you can't come over. Would have loved for you to come over. Ha ha ha. You can't come over because my mommy's gonna be home. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, I think the day we met, you got off at 5 and went home, lol. So 8 wouldn't be late for you. Thinking emoji, uh... He's really trying to puzzle this one out, isn't he? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Obi says, maybe, shrug. I unless you're fine with me driving to you, wacky face. <laughs> Show me your favorite spot, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fractured my spine on that one. <laughs> wow, it's snowing hard all night. <laughs> Drive home safe. <laughs> Here he goes talking about the weather again. Oh, God, I love it. She didn't text him all day, and he's like, oh, it's snowing. <laughs> oh, so good. Uh, I'm horny, Lamal. <laughs> and I want some good vagoo. <laughs> Uh, lol. Too bad the weather is shit. <laughs> uh, this is the cringiest exchange. <laughs> I don't know if it stacks up to Mallory in the last video. This dude is definitely nowhere near as poetic. He's just sort of a, a big dum-dum. He's like, hey, uh, there's weather outside. Uh, I want to bang you. <laughs> <laughs> That's really all it takes? Uh, okay. <laughs> I know the weather's bad, right? <laughs> I ask you, though. I'll reach tomorrow. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell she's just so not interested. Was the dick bad or, or what's going on here? She keeps texting him back at very spaced out intervals. So I'm not completely sure what to think, but yeah, this dude is, is gonna start losing it sooner rather than later, I'm sure. And then he starts monologuing again. <laughs> oh god. This girl won't answer me. Lol. Wow. I wanna know if you wanna link today. <laughs> or I'll just pick you up after work. Yeah, we got a link today. I want to evolve my Graveler into a Golem, and we have to trade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you meant like have sex. No, no, I'm good on that for sure. <laughs> I don't think I will tonight. I'm burnt out from work, and I just don't have the energy. <laughs> okay, true. <laughs> You're working nine hours. Fine. Let's do Sunday then. It's warm and I get off early. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Is this dude a weatherman or something? <laughs> it's gonna be warm on Sunday. Make sure you dress in layers. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe getting off early is the reason that she's not texting you back, dude. <laughs> she's dodged you like three, four times already. I don't know why she doesn't just come out and say it. Hey, not interested. Maybe she enjoys, uh, you know, being pursued like that. But at a certain point, dude needs to just take the hint and be like, all right, 
<laughs> you don't want to later. And then you wait until she pops up in your text messages at 3 a.m. And she's like, hey, you up? <laughs> and you know what that means. Don't chase after it begging like a little simp. Oh, the monologue continues. Uh, good. It's been two weeks, man. I haven't seen you laughing with tears. But actually, it's just probably tears. <laughs> Hello, Earth to OP. Wow, this girl shaking my head. Lamau. <laughs> Wagwan tonight. <laughs> Wagwan. Bro, what are you doing? Sunday's coming tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to be ahead, winky face. Huh. Wonder what she's doing at this hour. <laughs> uh, he ghosted him all day, and he still hasn't caught a clue. And look, you can't just ignore me, detective. Yo, are you working today? Uh, I'm gonna come see you, okay? Quit leaving me hanging! You drive me insane! Okay, just once more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's gonna win her back. Send her a wacky face emoji. She'll be like, oh, he's just being playful. He's not really freaking out and seething on the inside, right? <laughs> uh, OP says, lol, I'm busy this week with moving. Lamau, what? Where are you moving to? OP, don't you tell him. Don't you ever tell him where you live. <laughs> and damn, lol, so contradicted. Why did you say you might do Friday if you're busy this week? Oh my god. This following week, not last week, I roll. You see? Now the true colors is starting to come out for everybody. Why don't you just tell him, OP? Tell him. He's an uninteresting idiot with a terrible dick game. And uh, <laughs> you don't want any part of it anymore. Go ahead. Maybe she just wants to wait until she's finished moving. Just in case this weirdo shows up at her house or something like that. <laughs> the following week is what? When you move? And Friday was two days ago. This week ain't over yet. Sunday is, is the beginning of a new week, friend. <laughs> I don't know if you never learned how the weeks work. <laughs> Are you off today, then? I'm working now, but I can come to your place this evening. Dude, I can't. I'm busy moving. Uh, so what did you do this past week, then? Uh, he is just so exhausting. I'm not any part of this this situation but i'm already exhausted by this fellow he's got nothing interesting to say he's just so one track ah how do women put up with this <laughs> and then he sends a, a non sequitur screenshot i guess this is op saying don't drive that fast and he's like oh are you worried about me <laughs> Lamau, that was a close call a good thing i saw the cop car early and break to 80 lul i don't know if he noticed or just didn't bother or lol <laughs> or is not how you end a sentence uh because no cars on the road Lol, he probably just didn't care. Ha <laughs> ha, phew, I had fun today too. Let me know when you're free next, uh, wacky face. Good night. Me too, and sounds good. Good night. Them texts you sent before made me think you had fun and wanted to see me again. I guess that was all a lie. <laughs> Hey, now you're putting the pieces together. There you go. The next step is to take the L and walk away. Go ahead. <laughs> it's not that hard. You're just making an ass of yourself. I'm just trying to see you once again, lol. And you're just dodging. So mean. 
What is it? I don't understand. Crying, laughing, but probably just actually crying. <laughs> what? I didn't make you come first time, so you ain't trying to see me again, huh? Jeez, Lamau. <laughs> Uh, at least he admits it. She didn't get the nut. Why would she want to see you again, dude? <laughs> this is too ridiculous, bro. He knows. He failed the quest, but he's still like, yeah, just let me try it again. I'm sorry, bro. It was a one shot and now it's over. <laughs> oh, and finally, OP blocks his ass. Yes. And he sent a text with a, a new number. Wow, you blocked me? What the fuck? <laughs> it was getting too real, all right? You uncovered the truth, and she's like, well, there you go. There's your answer, buddy. <laughs> uh, why are you blocking me? Ah! This. This, all this behavior, this is why I'm blocking you. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm absolutely shocked that this guy was able to get it in at all. Maybe he was like a relatively normal person before she let him stick her and then, and then all of a sudden his brain melted out his ears and he's just like a, a vagina zombie or something like that. <laughs> Only knows how to talk about the weather and when they're going to meet up next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I block him too. This is the most boring conversation ever. At least Mallory's boo was, uh, you know, poetic and such. And now the mask really comes off. We get to see the true nice guy. Here it comes. <laughs> All right, asshole. I'm going to pay you a visit at work and see what you have to say. Screw off. Show up at my work and I will call the cops. Go for it, idiot. <laughs> You are fucking unhinged. <laughs> what was your first clue? What are they gonna do? <laughs> I'm a customer. I'm allowed to walk into a store. Are you... Are you dumb? <laughs> you can tell me. I'm a professional. Really, the question has been answered since, like, the beginning of all of this. I would be really interested to see what the text messages were like before it devolved like this. Like, was he actually an interesting person or was OP just trying to get it in? And, and now this dude can't take no for an answer. So to answer, are you dumb? Yeah. <laughs> yes, he, he is. I, I can't believe we didn't put that together. I didn't even do anything. And you ignore me and then block me. Yep, definitely dumb. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think I feel? <laughs> okay, keep calling names. Bro, you need to handle rejection better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OP just laying down the law, telling it how it is. See, what are you going to say when I say shit to you in person? <laughs> no, I do not. Clearly, you do. Everything was fine. <laughs> For you, it's been pretty obvious since the beginning that she's not into it. The reason that she didn't tell him flat out, look, I'm not interested anymore, is she probably knew that he's a psychopath and would show up to where she works or lives. So yeah, I'm starting to see it from OP's side now. Uh, there was no need for rejecting. I could take a regular rejection, no problem. I don't like wishy-washy, liars, people who are inconsiderate. Because uh, I'll do the same tenfold. Uh. Look, you're too pushy when I say no, and I don't need a million questions asking what I've been doing instead of hanging out with you. Pushy about what I asked you when, and you never gave me an answer. Yeah, bro, nobody owes you time or attention. Just move on. <laughs> it's not that hard. Oh, it seems like she doesn't actually want to meet up again. That's cool. Well, at least we had a good time for one night, right? But no, he's gone too far. He is off the deep end. I told you before on the phone that I don't want to do this anymore, and I want to be alone. 
Yet you say that you enjoyed our night? <laughs> yes, the infallible logic detective. He has arrived. <laughs> I don't know which one is the lie. Why? Because of me? Fuck out of here. No, because I want to be alone. I spoke to you last time. I thought we talked it through. You wouldn't like it if a guy did that to you. I don't need to take that. I don't need to explain it further. I just want to be Alone. <laughs> yeah. After an interaction like this, I would probably need to be alone for a very long time as well. <laughs> I cannot interact with other humans at this point in time. Do I look like a pushover to you? Uh, tell me what I did wrong then. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not me. It's you, all right? Everything seemed to be going fine. You hooked up when you were acting like uh, what I presume was a normal human being. But then you screwed the pooch when you got all clingy and weird about it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I presume that's what you did wrong, right? OP says, look, I can handle rejection, so I don't care what a guy does. Yeah, right. It sounds like burying feelings. <laughs> Pot? <laughs> <laughs> Meat kettle. <laughs> OP just says, okay. If a guy played you, you would care. You said it in the car to me. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he feels like he's getting played here. What the hell? You hooked up once. I presume it was made pretty clear what this whole thing was. <laughs> I guess the sex was just that good. He can't let it go. <laughs> I wasn't born yesterday. You felt hurt by guys. Don't pretend. We're all adults here. Just, just let me see you. <laughs> uh, we're all adults, but hold on while I whine like a petulant child. <laughs> Just one more time, I'll drive to you, and then we won't see each other again, I promise. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you believe that, I got a bridge I'd like to sell you. <laughs> I genuinely thought we had a good time. You hurt me. <laughs> Uh, he bitch made. <laughs> I don't want to. You've threatened twice to come to my place of work, and I don't trust you enough to be alone with you now, Lamau. <laughs> if that doesn't mean anything to you, then I don't know what to say. That's awful human being. <laughs> <laughs> this guy seems to know an awful lot about awful human being. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Uh, we hooked up once, and you're acting like this. This is just a little much. <sighs> yeah, because you hurt me first. Do you understand? I don't do anything to hurt people for no reason. Yeah, but you said you enjoyed yourself and wanted to see me again, but you did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He showed us the text logs. That's a verbal contract. Now you are obligated to hook up with this guy again, or otherwise you'll hurt his feelings. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, the mental gymnastics. <laughs> I just can't. Uh, I don't know why you're hurt when this wasn't anything to begin with. It was literally just a hookup. You see how that throws me off? Yes, and I want it again. Look, I'm allowed to change my mind. If you didn't like our time, then th that's a different story. 
respect that I'm allowed to change my mind. <laughs> He's not even listening, bro. This is like talking to a brick wall. <laughs> I would have just said whatever. I tried to speak to you nicely. I even called you last time. You know this. So me being a Leo. <laughs> uh, oh, we're bringing astrology into this. <laughs> huh? Oh. God damn it, dude. None of this is my fault. It's just me being a Leo. <laughs> ah, I love it. <laughs> you can't make this up. Uh, Sounds like you're moaning. <laughs> too good. Uh, uh, <laughs> There's no other way that this is going to go down. I'm telling you, I want peace. I want to see you again. That's the only way that he's going to get peace? <laughs> this is... Oh, God. How does this possibly end? One final grudge fuck to end them all? <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure it's just going to continue on. So, yeah, cut it right here. It's over, friend. Look, I'm not continuing this anymore. I've said that I don't want to meet up again, and that's it. Nah! <laughs> and she blocked him for the third time. <laughs> you can keep blocking me. I'll just make a new number. Are you gonna call me or what? We can talk like civil people. Are you not a mature adult? <laughs> <laughs> what an accusation to level when you are acting like such a fucking child. You think I'm joking, Lamal? I'll come there randomly and humiliate the hell out of you. Bro, you sound dumb as shit. <laughs> Okay, then I'll see you, dumbass. Blocked again, and he just seems to call endlessly. And people wonder why I am selective about partners. <laughs> you know that saying about don't stick your dick in crazy? Well, it works for the inverse as well, okay? This dude is off his rocker. What is going on? Like, she's just gonna finally break and be like, Actually, yeah, I do want to see you one more time. You've... <laughs> you've badgered me into it. <laughs> I'm sure this time it's gonna be totally magical. <laughs> what, bro? What? Oh, You would think at a certain point a dude would be like, Alright, she's not responding. I guess I'll just, you know walk away with my dignity intact but this dude threw it all on the line for a shot at <laughs> begrudging love i guess i'll call it <laughs> and even after op explains her point of view calls him out on it quite succinctly he's like nah whatever you said doesn't matter i can win you back <laughs> If you were planning on doing it, this is not the way, all right? Oh, what a nice guy. <laughs> He's not as poetic as, as Mallory from the last video, but he is equally as long-winded, I will say that much. He loves a good monologue. <laughs> and so do I, honestly. It's so ridiculous. All right, one more shorty, and then I'm gonna call it. We actually did fit more posts into this video, so, uh, you know, that's a step up. Of course, we only put three into the last one, but... <laughs> that's a relatively easy record to beat. Uh, so here we go. Uh, guys be like, It just hurts my feelings that you found out I was doing exactly what I lied about not doing and held me accountable for my actions. And to be honest, there's a darkness inside me that no one understands. It all started when I was eight, and my dad never took me to SeaWorld. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, I'm an asshole who doesn't deserve love. I never let anyone get close to me, and my ex cheated on me, and is now married, and also, I'm part Viking. 
Yeah, there you go. That's how guys be like all the time. I'm always walking around talking about how much of a Viking I am. Nah, I was probably a muckraker in a past life, if you want me to be quite honest. I got that muckraker build to me, right? <laughs> uh, I won't say that all guys be like this, but yeah. There's a lot of dudes out there that are quick to shuffle off the blame on basically anything else. In the big giant post that we had here, he was trying to shuffle off the blame onto her. He's like, hey, look, you said you wanted to meet up again. You can't change your mind. I got the screen caps. That's a verbal contract. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. Get over yourself. Also, my dad never took me to SeaWorld, and I am pretty bitter about it, but I've managed to, to come into my own as a human being. Sort of. Little bit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what a mess this video has been. A glorious, glorious mess that I enjoy rolling around in with you guys, so thank you so much for joining me. I do hope that you enjoyed, and uh, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, maybe share the video around. We got all kinds of links down in the description, you know, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, plugs, playlists, podcasts. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on, including Patreon. It's almost the end of the month. We got my gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous patrons, and I'd like to thank them Jerry, Jerry much. Uh, so thank you. Darth Thomas, Robert Waits, Camille Sarah, Logan Wolf, Conrad Inge. Hey, yo, Mr. Red X, sir, thanks for sending me them fun bucks. Landlord Jerry says my legs are safe <laughs> for now. <laughs> Think about Landlord Jerry, he comes back every month. It, there ain't no keeping that guy down. Captain Clown Jerry, Hong Kong, Aaron W, Twisted Child, Sarah Wano Ash, Cinema Susie, Four Old Lang Sign, Irary is back to this since it's, it's just more fun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I take that. Jari the pirate, Silent Revolver, Jerry the OG, Jerry, it's really him. Jerry Kitsune, Satori to eleven Jerry, the Fellowship of Jerry. Yeah, we got it right here. <laughs> a Jerry of jubilantly juggling Jerry's, a Justy Jargonian Jerry, a Lunia Demonista, Althea Blue, Ananaki, Assassin Pug Jerry, Bang Bang, Aurora Wildheart, AX and Grizzly, Baby Jerry. Oh, it's so cute. Bailey Joy, <laughs> Bearded Jerry. Watch out for that guy. Beards. Da da. Oh, Jaws theme and beard noises. Da 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 da. <laughs> and then just eating Doritos at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch Kremlin, Blade the Hero, Blip Blip Jerry, Catholic Jerry, formerly Atheist Jerry, but the Inquisition showed me the light. <laughs> Uh, Commander J Tank, Confederate Jew, <laughs> Dennis Dayton, Dinosaur Nightlight, Disposable Waifu, Dr. Larks, Emergent Jewel, Fell down this pipe, running from a walking mushroom thing, it's Mr. J, Frozen Over Studios, Fire Drake, Gypsy, Adrian BR, I can't help falling in love with a Jerry. I'm Slim Jerry, yes, I'm the real Jerry, all you other Slim Jerrys are just imitating Irish pirates, top of the barn into ya. Itchy nuts, I'm just scratching, bro. <laughs> a pimp named J Crisp, yes, you have to say the whole thing. J.M. Coon, Jennifer Schaefer, Jerry Smith Barber to Cervicus, Jerry Blacktail, <laughs> Jerry Dice, Jerry Evil, Jerry the Outlaw. Mother trucker, honk honk. Jerry was a racer driver. I got my super back and we went round two, but my tires hit a bunch of marbles and it's pulling out. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. Hope you're all right. John Hero, John Jerry, Jingleheimer Schmidt, Simboofa, because if you're boofing, it's free. KJW, Kajow, Kruhi, Miss Monday, Lord Jerryo, like and subscribe. <laughs> That's a good one. The Lady Dicks, Marble Jerry was on their way to stop Comrade Jerry from dealing on their tooth when their band was attacked by an STI. Oh, now we get the other side of the story. Melgar the Destroyer, Metal Factor. Nine out of ten dentists agree that he is more metal than Arthur Henry, Jerry, Tom, and Red X. Well, that's just not true. I agree with the tenth dentist. <laughs> Mr. Carrot 797, Natari, Needless King 89, Nightmare Jerry. Oh no, Orgami Steve hit Jerry with a bag of marbles after catching him cheating with Tom. That's why he's not Orgami Jerry Steve anymore, see? They got a divorce, see? That's ah, so sad when that happens. <laughs> Patron Saint of Chicken Nuggies, Saint Jerry, Phantom of the Pines, Jerrykins and Jerry Beth, Ramtide Lacrimates, Rose Jerry Miller, TSM Kirby, Sarita the Lolita, Sassy Octopus, ah, Silo Imp, Slipped on the Marble into the Neckbeard World. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Stables, aka Jerry Yeet, Stephanie Goodner, Synaptic Boomstick, Brilliant Tamago, Tapioca Boogaloo, Teddy the Police, Tenta Monster, The Italian Greyhound, Dino, Dino, whatever, <laughs> The Token Trans Queen Jerry, Funny Name Pending. Ooh, Drew Fusky, Tom, but it's the Jerry on the inside that counts. Church, church, unbusy B, V3 Prime, welcome friend, Viking Jerry, a wiki tack, <laughs> Will Mags, Comrade Mooney, Kira, not another Jerry, yes you are, <laughs> welcome to the fold, you're a wizard Jerry, Redwind, not a viper, side Jerry to cyborg, Saint's Blessing, a normal Jerry, JP, the best daily berry snack promise, swears he's it's just a fact, it's totally sized, and it's lightly toasted, <laughs> a turf Jerry, devour all things tasty, it's Tom, Admiral T-Tank, Amor Alder, Atomic Jerryzilla, Breaker of the Tom Army, AZ, Babsy Coon, Barbushka's Radiator Jam, Bartender Kira, Blue dubs, broken spine horseradish, but look, I made you some content, Dave, you're my favorite, open wide, ah, <laughs> cake Jerry, yeah, that's original different Jerry right there, California Jerry girl, Chevron 7 locked, Corporal Admiral Furry Warrior, woo Jerry, Quip Titties, Defon Jerry, DM Beard, roll for seduction, Dopamine Dane Jerryus, Electrical Fennec, Ghost of Alpha, Heek Knot, Holy Berry Jerry, Hydra Jerry Solmond, Janitor Jerry, Feather Crater Cringe and Marbles Out by the Dumpsters, <laughs>
<laughs> it happens. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> Jerry and Tom versus Happy New Year's Webby Apocalypse. Jerry the Sussy Baka. Jerry's mom has got it going on. Jerry old Rivera. You check out that mustache. <laughs> Jerry being yum. Jerry Roxas. Yay. Jerry's STI pit maneuver the van to save the marbles. We're getting a lot of conflicting stories in here. <laughs> Jerry role playing game featuring the obligatory furry PC, Freddy Fazbeard. Judge Jerry and executioner, Kid Marvelous. Hey, it's King Tom, smasher of Jerry Zillas. Kids again. Life of Guardian, Little Ann Woods, Lucia Lovecraft, M -m -m Chia, CD, maybe next time Milk Fed Gimp, <laughs> Miss Dutch is not Invisible Angel, One Leg Jerry makes a marble deposit in Dayton's bank. Bro, if I opened up a bank, I would embezzle so hard. <laughs> or Gammy Cam, put your emotions on hold, and let's talk about these nuts. <laughs> Uh, ghosty, Raptor Art, she's my Jerry Pie, go drink a Mountain Dew or the bit surprise. Sheep Jerry working at Joe Way's Fabrics, they don't carry marbles. <laughs> Snary, let's stop Jerry, Spoony the Rogue, Spooky Scary Jerry Ton. Techno Dubs, the Jerry Fellowship of the Marble. Oh, we're going on a grand adventure. <laughs> the Necro Jerry Com, the Not Gaslighting Jerry, there's no war in Red Sing Say. <laughs> Some Red X Industry branded marbles. <laughs> Uh, uh, the original Jerry is not the X card. Hey, welcome to Infinite Jerry and Beyond. Tuna fish Jerry, oh the card. I keep trying to swim around, but I'm dummy thick, and the slap of my tail fins keeps alerting the bear. <laughs> Uh, uh, Tom promise. Jerry swears. Oh no, bad Jerry. Tommy, good boy. Don't switch his facts. So you size. Go ahead. Look it up. <laughs> I'm in another Red X video. <laughs> uh, and big shout out to my one dollar patrons as well. The Jerry's, the not Jerry's, all coming together and doing the most for Red X Industries. So thank you guys so very much. If anybody else would like to sign up, I would be quite indebted. But if you can't do it right now, don't sweat it too hard, friends. I just appreciate you coming on through, hanging out with me, and I hope that you'll come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow. In order to do so, you need to keep yourself safe out there, wash your hands, but also take some time out and do something that you uh, personally enjoy today. Maybe like, um, watching some more Red X videos. Please, you promised me that you would. <laughs> <laughs> Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, and you definitely, definitely deserve it. I shall see you in the next one, and until then, bye-bye.